Taba, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we heard there uh, some of the construction process described. Um, I want to get your thoughts on the process. Is it overwhelmingly complicated? Is it pretty straightforward? Or is it, you know, something in the middle? This is not my language, it's yours. Right, so uh, obviously this is very complicated. There's very little room for defect and um, failure. And the tiny uh, defect can magnify into a huge system issue. So um, I think overall, um, everything in the rocket science business is has to be very precise, uh, sometimes has to be um, um, very uh, acquainted to working in high, high extreme temperatures, extreme pressures. So, so it is a very uh, involved process. There's that expression, it's not rocket science, but this is literally rocket science. Uh, as someone whose career has focused on space, how exciting is this moment for you, even if you aren't Chinese? Well, it's, I think that overall, uh, the momentum for space exploration has never been better than now. Um, so you can see that the Chinese have uh, done one very successful stretch of lunar missions. They have successfully landed on Mars with a rover, and now they are um, trying to do a space station. Um, the Americans are headed back to, uh, to the moon. Uh, two very rich private companies, SpaceX <clears throat> and Blue Origins, uh, have taken it uh, upon their um, mandate uh, from the individual owners. Elon Musk thinks that uh, the human race needs to be on another planet, needs to be an extraterrestrial uh, species uh, living on Mars. So there is a lot of simultaneous things going on. Uh, the private players make it the most interesting because they um, also bring in the economy of cost. The, um, for example, the SpaceX missions are probably a thousand times cheaper than anything NASA has done ever before. So um, going forward, it would be very interesting uh, to see uh, when this human mission to Mars, for example, happens, uh, which was thought to be very improbable. Uh, in the past because of its huge $250 billion space uh, cost tag. So, um, and then there is this possibility that we might find um, life on another planet, particularly Mars. So all this is turning out to be a decade of space exploration from multiple countries. Um, and it's very exciting for me personally as a scientist. And why does China need its own space station? Why not use the International Space Station? Well, um, I think each country is trying to build its own capabilities. If you looked at the 1970s and 60s, there were just two, two people in the race, two countries in this race. And now uh, even United Arab Emirates has its own um, satellite around Mars. So each country has to go through its own mm. developmental journey. And I think... Um, and we have 200 countries. Maybe 200 countries will not get there, but at least more and more countries will come into the club as we go forward, and that is just normal.